Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because today we kind of have a different film set up, set up, film set up <laughs> because today we are actually doing a closet clean out plus like garage sale style thing. So this is embarrassing. Once you see the floor, you'll understand why I'm embarrassed. But Today I'm cleaning out my closet in preparation for Reggie to move in next April once we get married. Um, and I know it probably seems like a little bit farther out, but think about it. Like we're going into September and we're about to go into the holidays, which are always crazy. And then January is actually my birthday and my bridal shower. And then March is the bachelorette weekend. And then April we get married. So, I'm trying to get ahead of the game so that I'm prepared and ready to go and that he has a comfortable space for his clothes because I'm all about like being intentional and making sure that people feel welcomed. So, I don't want him to come and be like, where am I going to put my stuff? So, that's what we're doing. And then also, the garage sale part of it is I kind of need to get rid of a lot of stuff in here. And so, I thought it would be super fun to make a video out of it instead of just like posting it on a Poshmark or posting it on Instagram. I'm gonna physically show you guys the items that I'm actually selling. And then what you can do is just DM me after you watch this video on Instagram and kind of be like, hey, how much does this cost? Can I buy this from you? We can talk about shipping, all that stuff. So anyway, super excited to have you guys come along with me to help me clean. It makes the process a lot easier. Hopefully this is fun and you guys like watching these videos. I know I love watching these videos. Don't forget to subscribe down below and like and comment and let me know how you're doing a little bit of early spring. It's not even spring. It's about to go to fall. Early fall cleaning and it's like raining outside. I'm in my comfies. So I thought today would be a good day to do it. So let's get right into Jesus, it. Jesus be a fence all around me every day. What? <laughs> guys. Okay. This is embarrassing. So this is my floor, which you can't see. And this is... I don't even know. Okay, so this is like what the closet looks like. It's pretty small. Mind you, just as an FYI, oh, we're going to do this vlog style so I can talk to you. Mind you, I um, have my both my winter and my fall thingies clothes in here. So that's probably why it looks packed too. I also have bins up top because I don't have any storage in my apartment. I live in like a 600 and... 80 square foot apartment. It's really small. <laughs> so, um, okay. I don't even know how we're going to tackle this, but let's see. Okay. So we're going to start on the floor, get all that stuff up. These are just like shoes and shoes and shoes and shoes and shoes. So I have a shoe problem. Um, but we're going to kind of take everything off the floor and then I'm going to go through one by one. This is what I'm selling. This is what I don't want. See if you guys like it. See if you want it. This is my suitcase. That's to my ring light. That's my camera bag. These are cute bride slippers. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what we're starting with. So, this is the before. Okay. Just give it up. I'm not your girl. All right, y'all. The four. The four. The floor is now completely cleaned out. Like even, I had like crap all under there too. I need to vacuum this out. This is currently what we're working with. Um, I told you I have a shoe problem. I still have a crap ton of shoes there and there and there and there and there that I have to go through and clothes that I need to go through. So I'm thinking the best method, oh my ring light is really bright. I think the best method to the madness is I'm going to show you guys shoes first and then I'm going to show you guys clothes that I'm going to sell. So bear with me. We got this. You guys, I feel like you guys motivate me and help me to like get this thing going because <laughs> I've been procrastinating like and every time I open it, I'm like, mm, I'm just going to shut that for a second and look away and not tackle it. So as Nancy Ray says, I'm taking authority over this closet situation. So I'm going to show you guys shoes first and then I'm going to get into the clothes. Okay guys. So I have everything laid out. Please bear with me. It's a lot of items, but I want to make sure that I show you guys each and every item and describe it. So I'm going to make this go fast. Okay. First things first. These are Steve Madden. Um, I don't even know what you call them like sneakers. They have the 
zipper detailing on the side, the Sherpa lining, and these are a size eight. So if you want them, how this is gonna work is you have to follow me on Instagram and then you're gonna DM me and say, hey, saw your YouTube video, I would like, just describe them the best that you can, like the black Steve Madden sneakers with the fur on it. So this is the first thing. Second thing are, it's gonna be a hodgepodge, so it's gonna be like winter and summer stuff. So these are these leopard print booties. They have a pretty high heel, so just like keep that in mind. These are a size eight as well. So if you're interested, feel free to snag them. They have the pointy toe, super cute. Um, these are my Mark Fisher white shoes. These are a size eight as well. I will say they have like this, just being transparent with you, they have like a scuff on it. So just keep that in mind. Like they're not in pristine condition, but I'm sure with some leather cleaner, um, you can definitely clean these off. But again, everything will be priced really fairly and really well, um, depending on how used the item is. So just keep that in mind. Next are these Tom booties in a size, I should really know my size. I fluctuate between an eight and eight and a half. Okay, see, these are an eight and a half. So um, super comfortable. I just never really got a chance to wear them. Pretty decent heel, super cute. And they're by the brand Tom's. Um, next are these Chinese laundry booties that I got from Nordstrom. They're size eight and a half. Um, and they're like brown leather, pretty high heel, but super cute booty. So if you're interested, just hit me up about that. Sorry, I'm flying through this. So this video isn't 30 minutes long. Um, these are just some platform shoes that I got actually while I was on a trip. I just never wear them, unfortunately. So giving them, giving them away, but I think these are a size, hold the phone, hold the phone. What size are these? I'm pretty sure these are a size eight. Yes, they are a size eight. Yes, size eight. So if you're interested in that, hit me up. Okay, these are some leopard print Keds. I actually wore these for my friend Jenny's wedding, but I don't really have a use for them anymore. So these are leopard print Keds. If you're interested in them, literally worn once during a wedding. These are a size eight. So size eight. Um, I have these <laughs> beat up, um, Converse black, you know, the vibes, super basic, um, size eight again, but I just never wear them. So that's why they're going again. Um, white Converse. Now these are pretty, they're pretty dirty, but I will say as long as you use some bleach real quick in the washing machine, throw these in there. They're brand new. I just haven't washed them in a while. So these are size eight. And then I have these huge rain boots. Um, I just don't like the tall rain boots cause they get, I get kind of hot really easily. So these are just rain boots, but they're super cute cause they look like actual boots. And these are a size eight as well. So hit that up. Um, I have these little Pointed toe, pointed toe mules that are super cute from Target. Um, and these are actually a size seven and a half. So I have super narrow feet, so that's why I like my size fluctuates like it does. But these are size seven and a half, super cute. And then, what else do I have? Oh, these H&M, very used, um, size eight flats, pointed toe flats, super cute, gotten a lot of use out of them pretty comfortable. So hit those up if you want. I feel like I'm flying through this, but I just don't want the video to be too long. Um, and then these cute little shoes, I mean, they're sandals, but I don't really ever wear them. Um, I think I'm out of the frilly phase, but if that's your vibe, like please, by all means hit me up. These are size eight as well. And they're pretty comfortable. Um, good for the summer. These are from Aldo. Um, they have like the burlap platform with the gold straps. And these are size, 
What size are these? I want to say these are an eight and a half. They don't really have the size on it, but I think these are like an eight and a half. So if you're interested, hit me up on Instagram DMs. Next. These are kind of sentimental and I've been holding on to them, but it's like Jasmine, you literally don't even wear them. These are Jessica Simpson, just wedges with the burlap. What's it called? I don't even know if this is called burlap, whatever. Burlap heel and they are a size eight and a half, but I actually wore these for my high school graduation. So that's why I was like, maybe I should keep them. But no, I literally need to give them away. Time to say bye-bye. Um, these are Steve Madden, just like heels with the strap around the ankle and the strap on the toe. These are a size eight, um, and they're just really cute for date night, fancy dinners, you know the vibes. Size eight, really cute. Um, these little strappy heel, um, what are these called? Strappy heels, yeah. And these are also a size eight. Um, and also, if you feel like I'm going too fast and if you're like, oh, I need a closer up picture, when you follow me on Instagram and then DM me and say, hey, you, I came from your YouTube channel, I'm interested in X, Y, and Z, I can most definitely send you a picture just to make sure it's what you want. And I will be transparent about like any places where it looks really used or whatever. So no worries there. I will definitely send you a picture. Um, is that it for shoes? Hold on, hold on. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, and then these, I have no idea where these are from. These are kind of old, but they're like Chloe dupes, like the wedges with, again, the burlap heel. I feel like that's really trendy. And it's like a taupey grayish color. And this is a size eight. So I literally, I'm not kidding, I probably have worn these once. I mean, you can see the bottom. They don't look like they've been used at all. So I think I've worn those once. So that's that for shoes. <sighs> Take a breather. We got this. I feel like that was pretty good. So that's shoes. And now we're going to move on to, ooh, actually we're going to move on to like accessories. So bags, jewelry, and I'll also do some swim, swim, swimsuits. So let's see. We're going to go into vlog mode all now. Right, all right, y'all. We got the swimsuits on deck. What, what? Um, I just did it vlog style because it's easier. This is a one piece swimsuit, super cute with the floral pattern. It's a red color. And then if you flip it on the back, it has like a open back situation. Um, it's, I would say like where the butt is, it's kind of like cheek, more cheeky ish, but this is just too big for me. And this is a size medium. Um, this cute little set and this cute little set. Both the top and the bottoms are in medium. Again, a more cheeky fit, and they're just a little too big for me, so that's why I'm selling them. I literally have worn these once for my cruise last year, so there's that. Next, we have jewelry. So, we have these cute little, let's see if this thing will zoom. Ooh, it's zooming in on the black part. Okay, there's the tassel situation, excuse my nails. But there's the tassel situation earrings. They're black. We have these cute little clear acrylic pink, um, let's focus, clear acrylic pink earrings that are super cute. We have these colorful dangly earrings with the marble detail at the top, which is really cute. Um, and then we also have these gold ones, which are really cute for fancy date night. These are green ones. I will say that these, I have very small earlobes, so they didn't stay in my ear too well. Like they have this kind of back, but I love these. I think they're super cute, very different and unique. So yeah, selling those sadly. Um, I have these basic gold hoops. Again, all this stuff is super affordable, so nothing too crazy. I do have a Pandora ring, very, very well loved. So just being transparent about that, like the side is kind of rusting, but I believe this is a size like five, size five maybe. And this is kind of what it looks like on my hand. Very, very cute. Um, okay. I can't get it off. So we're just going to keep it on. Um, and then we have this white Michael Kors watch again, very, very well loved, but it's going to be priced really good. 
We have another Michael Kors watch um, that has a bigger face. Then we have this little handmade guy. This is a bracelet from St. Martin that I got and I love it. I just don't wear it enough, so I'm giving it away. I have these cute little earrings that are like gold hoops. Um, this is a House of Harlow like statement ring. So I believe this is a size six, I want to say, or a size five. I think more of a size five. So if you have super small hands like me, hit me up. But it's House of Harlow, like real House of Harlow. Um, I have a House of Harlow necklace that just has this with a gold chain. Um, I have gold necklace, gold necklace. I don't know if your name starts with J, but I was just going to try it out. Gold J necklace. These are my monogram initials, so this might be a stretch, but... Okay, I have these Kendra Scott t stackable rings. They're like a gunmetal color with blue accents. Again, these are a size 5, and I just put them on my pointer finger, but I would be selling all of them as a set, and you would also get the little dust bag that is included. So I think that is all for like swimsuits and accessories, and then I'm going to go over with you guys... Um, like bags and then we're gonna move on to clothes so I know this is a lot but thanks for hanging in there all right y'all thanks so much for bearing with me I know this is a lot of information to take in but I thought this would be the most cohesive fastest most fun way for me to sell my clothes so now we're moving on to bags and then we're gonna move on to clothes and that's gonna be it so I have this North Face like blue and coral North Face bag oh I don't even know. Hold on. There we go. So anyway, sorry. So I have this blue and pink North Face bag. Um, I've had it since college. It does have some love going on. You see where it's getting a little tattered. But it is awesome and it's really durable. And we all know that North Face bags are super awesome and they work really well and they can hold a lot of weight without breaking so there's that um and then i also have you know this is like my first child um i have this like little duffel bag it's pretty big on the inside you just i mean you can't really see it but it's a duffel bag it's just a furry my furry friend what a time we stand anyway um furry duffel bag and then I have this free people little satchel situation with the fringe on the bottom. It's gray. Sorry, my phone is going off. Um, but it has these little cute little details on it. And again, it's free people. So really good quality. Um, and then, and then we have this fun little watermelon clutch bag. I typically use this when I went to the beach just as something fun. It's from Express. Um, but it's just really cute um, and super fun to have for the beach. And okay, yes, so that's it for, I think all the dust is getting to me. <laughs> that's it for bags. Now we're gonna move on to clothes. Clothes, okay. So the first thing I have is this Brandy Melville um, jacket. I kind of boycotted Brandy Melville just because they have a one size sizing situation and I just don't believe in that and that's not very inclusive and that's kind of annoying to me so I just want to kind of give this away because I'm like I'm out you yeah. know and then I have the, this is a size small I have this Nike running it has Nike on the side um running pullover Situation. It's super lightweight, super thin. It has the green check on the side. It's really cute. Again, size small if you're interested, if you're a worker out or kind of gal, or even if you're not and you just want to look like you do, go for it. That's what I do. Um, this is a Victoria's Secret, like more sporty type of jacket. Um, this is in the size extra small, but honestly, it fits kind of. I mean, it fits well on me, but it's definitely not an extra small fit. Like, it's more like a small fit. Um, we have this medium Calvin Klein sweatshirt situation. 
super cute, really soft on the inside. I just, again, I don't wear it. So I'm getting to the point now where it's like, if I have not worn this in a gear, it's going because there's no point in it taking up room. And then moving on, moving on. I have this super cute sweatshirt that I literally adore, but I just don't wear it. It's from a small boutique called A Mindful Manor. I don't know if you can see that well. The color is getting kind of weird with the zoom, but it says no rain, no flowers, and it's just a pull-on situation. And this is a medium, um, but it's super cute and really cozy, and I kind of love it. So there's that. I don't know why the lighting is getting weird, but here we are. We stand. Okay. <laughs> Um, next is this NC State hoodie, really basic, it's gotten its wear, because I wore it a lot in, um, college, but I just, you know, the red color is just like a little much for me now, so, and this is a size small, what else, what else, we have this free people, it's not buttoned, but it's a, it's a jean material and it's black and it's just a free people long sleeve dress. Again, like if you cannot see it well in this video, I'll be more than happy to send you a picture once you DM me. Just let me know, hit your girl up. Um, next we have this sweater from Pink Lily Boutique. Super cute, very, very oversized. I think this is a size, yeah, this is a size small, but it's like huge August on me. So very oversized fit kind of situation. I feel like normal, like really good YouTubers like try all this stuff on, but ain't nobody got time for that, so. <laughs> and then we have this off or shoulder cut out gray metallic -y looking shirt. It has like scooped hem, super cute. If you're interested, hit me up. Oh, I'm getting tired, y'all. This quarter sleeve striped shirt is super cute. I wear this a lot when I worked at Kohl's, like in the workplace. It's comfortable, but it's also really cute. Why is the lighting doing this? Okay, it's comfortable, but it's also really cute. And um, yeah, I've gotten a lot of wear out of it, actually, which is really nice. Um, oh, golly goshers. Okay, let's see what else. No, no, no. Um, is that it? Okay. Last thing is this Ralph Lauren, I don't even know what you want to call this, like cardigan. Mind you, it is an extra, extra small. So, I mean, it's pretty snug, but it has a little tie and it kind of looks like a robe. Okay. Not going to lie. This is why I'm selling it because to me it looks like a robe and I just can't get that out, out of my head. But maybe this is your vibe and that's great. I want that to be your vibe. So if you're interested in this, it's really high quality, very soft. It does have pockets, which is super important. Um, and yeah. And then the last couple of things are cool. These two, they're not being sold together. I'm just showing you because they're literally the same thing. These two fur vest. Um, this one's a brownish black, very simple. This is a blackish gray, very simple. So, um, yeah, I think that covers everything. Y'all, dang, we, we got through this. We did really good. Um, and now I have to figure out how to organize all this stuff. But thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, you know, for bearing with me. I know this is a long video, but don't forget if you are interested in buying any of the products that I showed, just follow me on Instagram and DM me saying, hey, I came from your YouTube video and let me know what you want. And then um, I'll give you pricing and all that stuff, especially for shipping. And then what else? Am I forgetting anything else? Oh. I will only be keeping these items for one week. So on Wednesday, this video will be posted. And so you have one week to claim the items that you want. And then all of it is getting donated to a, a women's shelter or something like that, because I don't want to hold on to this just to be holding on to it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below, letting me know your favorite platforms to sell, to sell your clothes on and all that good stuff. I use Poshmark, but I'm always open to new ideas, but thanks so much for watching guys. 
Let me know if you are interested in seeing more of these videos. I love organizing with you guys, bringing you into my life. You guys helped me so much with this process because it made it fun and exciting. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.